Pardon me, do you have any Grey Poupon? We have here a 1965 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud III. They only made about 1,100 or a little bit less than that in the left-hand drive, and this one's extremely rare because it has front and rear air conditioning. This car has a very glamorous Hollywood history, which I'd love to tell you all about. This 1965 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud III has enough star power on its own. It deserves to be driving on a red carpet, but it also has a fantastic Hollywood history. Aaron Spelling gifted this car to Nolan Miller. Nolan Miller was the highest paid uh, fashion designer in Hollywood throughout the 80s. He designed the clothing for the TV show Dynasty. Uh, all the celebrities went to him. Matter of fact, he had friends and colleagues uh, that all rode in this car. He enjoyed this car. He loved that glamorous image, and he used this car to help portray that. Some of the people that have ridden in this car, uh, Aaron Spelling, Sophia Loren, Joan Collins, Linda Evans, Lana Turner, Joan Crawford, and I'm sure there were many more. This is a dual Air conditioned car, front and rear air. They maybe made 200 of these altogether. It's a left hand drive car, which they only made about uh, less than 1,100 altogether. This car is 62,000 miles. Uh, Nolan owned the car from 1980 to 2010. We bought the car in 2011 and put it in our uh, Cars of the Rich and Famous exhibit in our museum. Now it's time to just trade it out for something different. So we're offering it for sale now. Uh, it's just been serviced. We are going to take a nice test drive towards the end of this video. Now, if you go to volocars.com, you can read all the information and study pictures, and you'll get the price tag along with a monthly finance option at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next video is posted. But for right now, let's go for a spin. Gorgeous car. I just watched a half hour video uh, with uh, Jay Leno driving the car. And he said that you look at a Bentley, you look inside a Rolls Royce because you want to know who's in the Rolls Royce. But just class. The Rolls Royce was all about uh, elegance. Um, the workmanship, the craftsmanship was very important. But the design is just, even in today's world, I think you could pull up to an event and park next to a new Rolls Royce. This is going to get the attention. So anyway, under the car appears to be in great shape. This car has lived out in California, so we put it inside our you know, climate-controlled museum. Uh, part of our service, we just spent $3,400 on the brakes. So underneath the car, the brakes are in great shape. It's a single exhaust system. It has three mufflers along the way. Rolls-Royce wanted these cars to be quiet, and it is. Uh, you'll see later when we go for a drive. So the exhaust is in real good shape. The front end components look real good. Uh, lots of nuts and bolts look new and fresh. You look up at the motor, it's spotless. It's not oily, greasy, or anything. Same thing with the transmission. And you know what transmission they used in these cars? The General Motors Hydromatic. It's a four-speed automatic. Now, Rolls-Royce would take the transmissions apart and pour them and polish them and do some little things to make them a little bit better. Uh, but it is a General Motors Hydromatic transmission. Under the car is rock solid as well. So let's look at the body. So this paint job has been on here since we bought it. We haven't done any paint work. So if there was rust or issues, it would have been happening by now. It's black, and black hides nothing, and I see nothing. This is laser beam straight, a mirror finish. Now, we're talking about the body. I'll talk about the paint in a second. But the lines are all nice and straight. The gaps are all precise, absolutely straight, beautiful. Just details and design and curves and body lines. Look how the rounded doors are rounded at all the corners. The roof is absolutely straight. I don't see a dent or damage or rust or corrosion. Now, the bodies were steel. I believe the panels are aluminum. The doors, the hood, and the trunk are aluminum. But the body is amazing. No issues. The corner of the trunk 
It's like loose. I think that in the latch inside was loose when I touched it. That might be able to be adjusted a touch better. Uh, this opens from inside the car. All fantastic. All amazing. It all fits fantastic. A very mild, yeah, barely even a dimple there. Uh, no rust. All lines up nice. So I think the body is amazing. Now the paint. Obviously, it's black. That's classy. You see a lot of these in some, you know, silver and blue and this and that, all good colors. But when you're pulling up to a red carpet event, this is the ticket, this mirror finish black paint. Now, when you look at the car, the black paint is a mirror finish. Like I just said, it's absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. It's not cracking. Um, but it is an older paint job. I did find a, a nick here or there touched up. Um, this is all beautiful. It's also got two thin hand pinstripes that match the interior, which it is buffed, buffed through a little bit in places. A um, couple chips down here at the corner, edge of the door bottom there. A couple little chips here and there, like I was saying. There's a little chip touched up here. It says Aaron Spelling. He gave the car to Nolan. This is a sticker that will come off. The paint is all slick, paint's beautiful. There's a flaw that I, I've seen that I want to show you. I'm trying to find it. Well, we'll get to that as soon as I find it here. Uh, so the chrome is beautiful. It all looks like an 8 out of 10. I can't say it's brand new, but it's all sparkling and nice and sharp looking. The glass is all real nice. This is also a sticker. Now this here, there's no seams like at the corner. Rolls-Royce, they wanted nice craftsmanship. They would, they would polish those smooth. So it looks like it's all one, one piece. They, they got rid of all the seams. The door handles built into the chrome strip here, real nice. All the glass is real nice. The power windows work. This power antenna works. Has the original mirrors in real nice shape. Hubcaps are in excellent shape. You have the Rolls-Royce emblem in the middle. These are radial white wall tires, probably hardly any miles on them, but they, they are probably 15 years old. Now the Cloud 3, you can uh, easily tell because it has the quad headlights. The Cloud 1, Cloud 2 uh, had a single headlight. And this has the original fog lamps. I think they're going to be Lucas. And of course the big Rolls-Royce grill and the Spirit of Ecstasy hood ornament is in beautiful shape. There was a paint flaw, and now I can't find it. It was, in, it was in one of the grooves here. The paint was kind of lifted a little bit right in the groove. If I find it, I will point it out. Also, one of the uh, lenses in the back here, no, up front, a lens on the front had a crack, and it was kind of glued together, a plastic lens. So that's the outside of the car, gorgeous. Let's open it up for a tour of the inside. All right, see if he left us any goodies in the trunk. Well, no, but it is a very nice, clean trunk. Under the trunk lid, the light works. It has like a fabric liner, original carpet. Now, this is a 62,000 mile original car, so it's not nut and bolt restored. It was very well cared for. This all looks very good. And then this compartment here opens. There is a spare tire, there's a jack, some tools. Uh, that's all in there. There are some display signs that we had on display with the car in our museum. Those will go with the car. The weather strips are original in the car. They're in good shape, you know, a little tatter here and there. Um, it is all Connolly leather in the car. It's a premium leather. There's no marks from barbed wire or anything like that. And it's all the original leather, and it's in very good shape. I mean, it's been re-dyed at one time, but it's all soft and not torn. Uh, it has the wood picnic trays back here, so you can eat your Grey Poupon or uh, you do your important business uh, work while you're driving in the car, riding in the car. Again, this is all Connolly leather. There's a fold-up armrest. Very comfy. I was sitting in here and it contours and you sink into it. 
Uh, here's some of the celebrities. Look, they're still in here. Lana Turner, Sophia Loren, Barbara Stanwyck, Joan Crawford, Joan Collins, and Linda Evans. So imagine all those people have sat in this car, and that's coming right from Nolan himself uh, has made those claims. Now, i got to point this out. This is the rear air conditioning. Uh, anywhere between 100 and 200 of these were made, and it actually works. Um, I just went online, and I couldn't find another one that had these, this duct work here. Um, so that's very rare. Down on the floor, we have lamb's wool carpet. It's in pristine shape. That's a lamb's wool mat. Actually, it's over the top of the original carpet. So the door panel, it's all leather. A little compartment right here. The wood is in very good shape. I think the wood on the doors may have been refinished at one time. The dash is all original and the vents and everything's nice. It's not broken, beat up. Steering wheel's real nice. All the instruments, knobs, switches, all very good. It does have an Alpine stereo. That's very 1980s. It doesn't turn on. There was no power going to it. Uh, you have your own little tray table with an ashtray. It slides in and out here. You got the glove box. Rolls-Royce, when they put wood in the car, all the wood is from the same tree, so it all matches. Uh, lamb's wool down on the floor again. It's covering the nice carpet that's underneath. We're not hiding bad carpet. And then the seats, all leather, fold-up armrest with chrome hinges. And then we have a cloth headliner in excellent shape front to back with a cut crystal lens. Uh, there's also vanity mirrors in the back. So it's all about being pampered, luxury. Be honest to gosh, this car is a 1965, and it, it just rode beautifully. I did sit in the back there, and uh, I thought, wow, it's impressive. So the motor, it's a V8. I think it's about a 6.2 liter, makes 225 horsepower. Uh, motor runs real nice and smooth. We did do some fuel, uh, worked on some fuel issues when we serviced the car. Um, I've put a few miles on it myself, and it seems to be working very well. We'll go to the other side, too. It doesn't have the big air cleaner hiding everything. So there's a Sanderson uh, AC compressor that's uh, been updated. And the separate air conditioning for the back, that's all in the trunk behind a panel. They are two separate systems. Watch the other Jay's video, Jay Leno's Garage, maybe you've heard of his videos. A uh, half hour video about Cloud 3, he was out driving it. He described the car very accurately. These are just smooth cars. They're for cruising and touring. They're not speed demons. They're not, uh, uh, you know, obviously they're not modern with all the modern gadgets. They're just about the comfort and the luxury and the smoothness and the quietness. Even made a comment, the original ad said, when you're driving down the road, all you'll hear is the tick of the clock, which this clock works, by the way. But the reason we're driving this car is I wanted to uh, let you know that this is a running, driving, functioning car. 
the gauges work, the turn signals blinked in, the power antenna works, even the front and rear air conditioning uh, works in this car. It's a very rough road and it still handles it very well. Gauge works is kind of nifty. There's a button. And you hit it, and it, that's the oil level. So the fuel gauge turns into an oil gauge when you hit the button, and it's full of oil. I hope it is. All right, folks. Here is an elegant touring car. It's very impressive is the word uh, that describes it best, in my opinion. And it's not a lot of money. I just bought a Camaro and paid more than what we're asking for this car. Uh, very affordable. Uh, I watched the video Jay Leno made, and he actually said parts are very available for this car. So according to him, it's an easy car to service and maintain. Um, Go to volocars.com. The salesman can help answer your questions. They can help get this delivered to your door and help get it financed if you go to volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next one is posted. Thanks for watching.